Hey guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Formbricks. Formbricks is a survey platform. It will help you create surveys and serve them to your users. So the end product is going to look kind of like this, but this is just one part of it. There's a lot of different ways that you can, different types of surveys that you can use and different ways to serve those surveys as well. Um, but you will, you get the idea, you get access to this platform. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new project. I'm gonna call it Form Bricks. Select the production environment, click add a new resource, search for Form Bricks, and then select the server where you want to deploy to. So now we're almost done. We're going to shorten the service name as well as the URL. We also need to update the compost file because there's some migration requirements here. Uh, we need to use this image instead of the Postgres image that we have here. So go ahead and replace that text of the Postgres image with this one. And also, before we close this, we also need to update some environment variables. So we need to add two or modify two. One is going to be the encryption key. Um, there's one that's missing called form bricks encryption key. And this encryption key needs to be 24 characters so we'll add 24 here and uh, Coolify will do its magic and give us a key with 24 characters so hit save and then inside the environment variables here there's a default organizational role here which is incorrect it says admin but it's actually not one of the available values so instead we're going to change it to owner and so now that that is done, we should be ready to deploy. So let's just refresh here. And now you see that the other image is there. So let's click deploy and see what happens. So it looks like the containers have started. Let's wait for this to be healthy and then we'll visit the URL. There you go. It just became healthy. And so once you've opened the URL, it will look like this. So hit the get started button and continue with email, enter in some email info. Once you're ready, click continue with email. Now you see here it says something went wrong. Uh, don't panic, just hit refresh. And you'll see that the, it says the page is not found. So go back to the URL itself without the setup uh, and sign up. So get rid of that and log in with the credentials that you added and you should be able to log in. So give your instance a company name or whatever type of name. So I'm just gonna call it self host everything and you can invite people, but I haven't actually tested this because I don't have any email uh, configuration set up. So I'm just gonna hit skip and here you can select a product. I'm not familiar with Formbrick surveys. I have tried this earlier, so I'm just gonna hit this one and here you can customize the look. Again, I'm going to put self host everything as my product name. Again, I'm not uh, an expert here, so I'm just going to click NPS. And now we're able to configure the survey steps. So you have different questions and you can click on the different questions and configure them. And once you're ready, you click save and close. And you immediately get a preview URL, which is great and which you can visit. And you can also set up configurations. So as part of the integrations, you can use the JavaScript SDK, for example, and this will allow you to connect your or to display your form and your website at a particular location where you run this code. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. We successfully hosted form bricks. Uh, there were some little hiccups that we needed to adjust in the beginning, but uh, it was fairly painless. 
So I will leave you here and I will see you in the next video.